chance to pick. We sure do. This one got my attention. Looks super old, $3.99. These item marked, items marked new goods are not included in the sale. I know that I saw signs in here today because every Goodwill operates differently and they had on the Halloween section uh, no additional discounts taken. So I'm not sure if that kind of applied to that. I don't know if I really saw anything marked new goods today. I love this little collection. Today I'm not searching and working on plants or anything. That guy looks like he has a beak. But I thought it would be really cool like when you see a bunch of these together to do a, a table of all kinds of pieces with like, you know, succulents and stuff. Later, later we will replenish that. I like that little bird dish, but it looks like he might have had a fall. I saw these pieces of gold, the elephant and the lion, but they were like plastic. This guy reminds me of the, um, the lion from, um, what's it called? The wardrobe lion, uh, what's it called? I can't even remember, it's one of my favorite movies and I'm just completely brain dead. What is it called? The lion, the witch, the wardrobe, is that what it is? Narnia, Narnia, good golly. This set I really liked. It has the Cladu, I do believe it's called Clado, Cladu on it. And it's the Irish symbol, the crown, the heart, the hands of, um, like the heart symbolizes love, the crown, loyalty, and the hands, the friendship. So for that reason, I'm looking at this piece because I'm thinking that's a really cool set. They want, they had it um, priced at $1.99 each instead of together. So I'm like, are you $1.99 in total? Are you $1.99 for each piece? Which I kind of thought maybe it is. So that would make it $4 for the set. So I kept on picking, but in the back of my mind, I knew it was there. So if I decided to come back and it was still there, I probably would grab it. You'll see at the end, the decision I make. This is cool. Look at that ombre with the yellow, the aqua. I really like that. And then all the distressing. That looked old whatever was painted onto it. Um, oh look, there was a lion mug. These were cute little trinket boxes. I don't know if there's any particular kind of jewelry that was in these. If, ooh, we went sideways there. A little bird, a little cardinal in this nest. What's down here? Oh, this is a fun one. I like that fuchsia. That's a very bright plate, $2.99. The last time I was in this particular Goodwill, I got a ton. I never ever have like Goodwills where you never really know what it's gonna be like, if it's gonna be an amazing pick or an okay pick. That's part of the, um, that's part of the pick, right? The hunt and the gamble that you take when you walk in. I always find good stuff and I found a bunch of good stuff today. Those were cool chippy and the little baby bird in the nest I like that yeah somebody uh, commented recently and they're like I don't think I like this haul as much as I like the other one and that's kind of the thing I wrote back and I'm like well you know it isn't staged right like I have no idea what Sally Sue was planning to donate this week so it is what it is but it's fun I really for that reason I love the pick because you know what you you don't know what to anticipate and it's really like a roller coaster of emotions as you go through the shelf. This made me so happy. I love this one. It's a hand-painted um, mason jar. I used to do that. So I like that. And then I came across these. These were party light. I debated getting these. So we have, I'm just not, like I told you, I'm not a big, big, like vivid fruit kind of person. I like the old veggie style vintage stuff, but when we get into grapes and this sort of thing, it I'm like, mm, you're cool. Do I want you though? So you get the green apple, the pineapple, I guess the cantaloupe and the red apple. Pretty cute, they're candle holders. Ooh, this glass votive. Yes, please, little candle holder, I should say. So I'm gonna take him because, oh, this one's party light too. Is Party Light still in business? I don't even know. 
they've been around for a long, long time. Um, so I don't even know. I'm going to have to look that up. Or if somebody knows, let me know in the comments. But I did like that guy. They always sell. Yesterday at my store, one of my recent glass frogs in that same sort of, that same sort of setting um, sold. This was neat. I guess it's a photo album. Look at that. You pull it up. There you go. Pretty cool. These were just on painted cheap ceramic pieces. $1.49. It looks like, I mean, they could have came from any, from a dollar store or a Hobby Lobby or anything like that. But truly right now I'm thinking, do I want to take these back? Do I want to paint them gold and have gold owls? Hmm. Oh, this is original art. So there's a toucan. Don't tell me to toucan. Toucan. Um, and then I love this right here. But it was, yeah. Do I have something blue all over my fingers? Where did that come from? I don't even know what I touched. What was that? Holy moly, look at my fingers. They're blue now. I don't even know what the heck I touched. I have no clue. Anybody else, when they come out of a thrift store, they're just like, don't touch your face, don't touch anything. No food, no nothing, right? Like until you get your hands sanitized because you truly don't know what you are touching. One of the other vlogs I was doing, I was talking about how I wouldn't even touch a bowl because it had peppers on it and there could have been like pepper oil inside of it. You just don't know. By the way, I picked this up. I thought it was amazing because, or oh, like this too. This is my style right here. Um, now everything I touch will turn blue, of course. Look what is on my hands, I don't even know. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do a little touch up with gold around the edges of that one, but I love the floral. This big branch thing lays on your table to be like a cool centerpiece. If you want to put your candles into it, um, you know, you can put it on like, for example, your mantle or your table. I like this as well. This Monet print. I wish it was the real thing. I left it, but it's, it's really fun for a pop of color. If you're decorating a wall and you want to just put a mishmash of things up. That would be a fun one. I'm guessing maybe somebody used those like in pictures. And then I saw these, the roosters, the roosters. I'm like, mm. see this guy out front, he was cute. But this guy right here, I really like that rendition of the rooster better. I felt like, I don't know. I just, I felt like he looked more roostery, okay, than the other guy. I don't know his face. I guess he's looking down, but I debate it. And he looked a little messy. And so I'm like, I really like you two. You know, and you are you feel compelled that you must take them both. But I've been doing better as that, as a thrifter myself and a reseller. You think you need to take two. You really don't. Just take one. It's okay. It's going to be fine. They're going to live great lives with different families. It's going to be wonderful. They'll see each other, you know, on special occasions. It's going to be great. So I took the guy that, you, well, you saw the one that I took him. That was a cat face. I thought that was cute. Um, I have bought these big fans before like this and painted them and sold them today. I just didn't want to lug a big old fan home, so I left it. This is the furniture section. So I'm just kind of having a gawk here. Just see what's, what's around. Again, you never know. Oh, I like you. Just a bear mug, $2. I can flip my money on that. I use these to store my paintbrushes, pens, pencils, scissors, rulers, just desk stuff. Or you could use it as a mug, as it's intended. Um, or put a plant into it, right? Put a few rocks down in the bottom for drainage and then put your plant up, way to go. And then, and then, uh, these were cute. Felt very ornate, Beauty and the Beast-like creamer and sugar dish. Halloween. That's a neat little covering right there. A little plastic tablecloth. This looked like it was, um, it had something written on the bottom. So at first I thought, is that Lennox? But it looks like it was maybe a homemade piece. A little decoration of flowers for your wall. $3.99. Turkey. It was cool. And I'm like, oh no, I think you're supposed to be the top of maybe like a big old basin of something, you know? 
I don't think a cookie jar. I think maybe like a soup, a big soup bowl. That's my best bet. I like that candle. I like the way they, they did the colors on it. Very nice. I see one of the candles are in the background back there with the hand and the, like the spooky Halloween -y candle. Um, the one that I actually got at this store the last time I was here sold as well in the last week. I think I can sell this one as well. I got time left in the season. Get that out at the store tomorrow when I get back there. But this is just like a pumpkins bats, you know, $2.99. I'm okay with $2.99. I can flip that, flip my money to six bucks, no problem. It was in great shape. So we took that one. Santa, soon gonna be your time. Soon gonna be your time. Again, I'm like seeing these painted mason jars. This was a nice one. I like that. Dollar ninety nine. It's not old Saint Nick's time just yet, but you know I like that with a little bit of the uh, plaid around the top, giving me ideas. Take a look at the lamps. Nothing amazing here today. And then the mugs. I did find some cool mugs in here. Look at all the mugs. I like this. Be your kind of beautiful. I feel like this belongs in my thrift store. Isn't that, isn't that nice? And it was really nice and clean. So I'm like, yep, I think that will be a perfect mug to rehome. Somebody will love that one. And then this one had a gold handle. It had like little stars and sparkles onto it. It was cute. I was this close to taking that one. But then, but then I spot another one. Here somewhere. Oh, that was the kitty cat one. It says, you're nobody till you've been ignored by a cat. <laughs> Funny, cats are aliens. We all know it. Here it is. Start each day with a positive thought. And it's done in that like camp mug style. Um, naturallife.com which I think I like a lot of their products they have a lot of fun colors and just good sayings positive sayings so I like that and you see how it has that rub distressed like old feel to it so that was a big selling point for me I found a lot of good stuff at this thrift step this uh, goodwill today and all these things come together to create a, you know a bigger overall collection this though this this made me so happy you know I love fiber art fabric art and this was dated I think in the corner for like 80 80 or 82 but look at it somebody did this by hand isn't that beautiful so I have a lot of customers that love cottage core they love like whimsy um, and they love this sort of thing in nature 82 so I thought I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna like roll that over with um, a lint roller what was it 399 Wow, love that beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Oh my gosh, B did this, B. You did a good job, my friend. We are going to love your art. It's gonna continue. Look at that, like, do you see that, like, the one that sticks off that has all the little fuzzy bits? Girl, oh my gosh, you did amazing. Like, I love that. So this is still gonna work in 2023 because there's a lot of people who love nature. Uh, yeah, they just wanna, you know, I think I have a whole thing on, I think, why we love nature. This was cool as well. I just think because we've just gone through a few stressful years and, you know, when we bring elements of nature into our home, it just makes us feel so much better, you know, that raw, organic. Like, look at this here. Isn't that beautiful? Just so simple. These are dried leaves that were framed. Like, that's gorgeous. Just with this little section alone, you could pull so many things to create a beautiful wall. But yeah, I love the idea of bringing nature inside. It's just, you know, it just feels less stressful, you know, just down to earth and just a little more raw and simple. Like you can breathe. So you get that? You get what I'm saying? I like that vase as well up there. This guy was really cool. He's definitely debating him. What was he? Dollar ninety nine. Really nice. I just love that orange and that blue. That would pop so nice on a shelf. And then of course, you know me, love these patterns. I was definitely drawn to this. I would carry that lunch bag, <laughs> lunch box, and I would carry that bag. It has unicorns, don't judge me. 
So look at all this good stuff that we found so far here. And I'm making my way back, kind of like doing the loop here now. And, oh yeah, I put this into it, so I'm like definitely taking this. So I came back to this guy. And I'm like, you know what, $4. I could flip that for $8, just with the meaning. It's a very beautiful set. It, somebody probably paid a lot more than $4 for that set. And I feel like I flip it for at minimum of $8, you know, or even go to like 12 Um so I'm definitely gonna grab that. It was also interesting that only the elephant was there now. The lion had disappeared. The Narnia lion had gone away. And that is proof that if you've ever worked in retail before um, and you have a store and you see the kind of like the traffic of people as they come by, there's a saying and it says that, you know, if you see something, you better buy it now because you're gonna go home tonight and you're gonna sleep on it but somebody was always already there yesterday and they've already slept on it and they're coming back today to get it. So, you know, when you are thrifting, things can disappear fast while you're literally standing in the store. So just a reminder that if you do see something, you might be heartbroken if you don't grab it. You guys tell me if you see something you like, son, you put it in your cart and you can decide on it later. And that is so true. <laughs> 